driver is still the best sensor in the car because you have to be able to give that sensor what's called confidence. And if the driver doesn't have that confidence, then, then he won't reach his potential. Telemetry can tell you perhaps what the car either does or, or it's capable of doing, but guess what? It won't do that unless the person driving it is willing to do it. It's all about what the driver really wants. The driver has to understand what he needs to go quicker and how he's going to achieve that. And the driver feedback to me is still the biggest component to figuring that out. All the data acquisition and the telemetry that we get, super helpful. But at the end of the day, if the driver doesn't know what he wants and, and know what he's feeling, it's very hard to find that end result. To be honest, we can have the whole entire computer, the whole thing running by itself, but you still have a guy to press the button. And that guy, he does have experience, he does have a lot of knowledge, he's still able to uh, uh, overcome a computer. Maybe one day when they want to do a championship with all robots, that's a different story. But uh, at the moment, we are the guys driving the car. Unfortunately, usually the, the comfortable cars are not always the quickest. Obviously, you would like the, that to be the quickest, and it's easy, obviously, that you know when it's comfortable, it's fast. But sometimes it can be an uncomfortable car that you, you're on the edge with. That is just faster. You know, there's some days that I wish we didn't have data acquisition. You know, if, if you feel confident in your ability as a race car driver to understand what the car is doing and then relay that to a team, you wish people didn't have the advantage of seeing what you could do, like teammates maybe. Because there is a point where you can actually overanalyze stuff, and especially with the amount of information we get off these cars through a session. You can sit there and out-engineer yourself, and that's a dangerous game to play as well. And finding that, that level for you as a driver, you know, there's only so much information you can take in and actually process. You can overanalyze a lot of things, and when things get real complex, you need to break it down to the real simple. And it, it really comes down to time on track, and time in between splits. And then you can get more and more complicated as you understand more things, but the mixture now of, of data that comes across on computers and sensors, combined with data that comes across visually, the ones that can combine those two things and understand what the visual piece of the data looks like and what the actual graft side of it looks like and how that translates into what I need to do next or the ones that are most successful. For me, the most important thing is, is for the driver to come back and, and talk about the problem and the engineers to be able to see it on the data. If the data tells you before the driver says anything, it's the wrong thing because the driver might be having some understeer, but he likes that and he's going faster with it. The data that's important for the driver is mainly the driver's data. So the, the engineers look at many amounts of different kinds of data from tire temperatures to the setup to the balance and there's so many little sensors here and there but what we're mainly focused on is the actual driver side so the speed graph which shows you you know if your teammates carrying more speed than you or where you can improve or your braking if it's too late or too early as well throttle application brake application if you're doing the right brake shape if you're applying the throttle at the right time all those things are our things to worry about and the engineers have you know uh, many other details that I don't really you know, keep track of. They're kind of in their own world with that. <laughs> and the best drivers I feel are the ones that don't get frustrated with the things that are outside of their control. They can be very analytical or not so analytical, but I feel like the ones that focus on the things that they can control and the things that really matter are usually the most successful ones. When you look at all the ones that have, have become the most successful, I feel like it's, it's the ones that are as mentally tough as they are academically tough. A lot of it is, is, is learning as a driver. You know, you, you use what's called the driver page on a, on a data telemetry system. You're looking at your steering, you're looking at your brake, you're looking at your throttle. Start first with what you can make better for yourself. You know, if you're just getting into a race car, the engineer's going to know more about the race car than you and that's fine. So don't go looking through damper velocities and trying to solve that problem. You know, look, look to yourself. You are just as tunable and, and just as instrumental in changing lap time as a setup change on the car. And at, that, and at that age and at that phase of your career, that's the most important thing for you to focus on. Once you've looked at all those things, then you kind of start those conversations with the engineer about certain setup changes and, and what benefits they can have for the certain problems you're having out on the racetrack. I think nowadays race car drivers, they, they need to be extremely knowledgeable on how the car is built, how it works, you know, what settings do, what to the race car, how certain things feel. Now, a lot of that comes with experience. You're going to have to drive the car, you're going to have to go through different settings, feel the settings to, to get a better understanding of how they actually change the race car on the track. If I were a driver, I'd want to look first at drive style. And I'd want to be, be able to have some creative map to be able to compare that to 
what I d did from session to session, what I did from racetrack to racetrack to find similarity and difference, and if I had teammates, what my teammates were doing. Obviously, when you have a good teammate and you can base yourself off of something else, um, you know, the, the, the typical driver compare spreadsheet for me is uh, speed, throttle, brakes, steering lock, um, brake balance. The sooner you can understand the simple side of, the, of, the, of how it all works and why it's a certain way, uh, I think the quicker you'll understand which pedals to push and, and how hard to push those pedals. You don't have to drive the engineering team. You know, the main focus is learning how to be fast in the race car and, and change the race car with your driving. But at the end of the day, you have to know that other side of it too so you can relate better to the engineers. It isn't about uh, uh, the damper stroke. It isn't about the uh, dynamic load. It isn't about the lateral load. It isn't about downforce uh, that's created. It isn't about any of those things. It's about, as a race driver, how am I going to get a better lap here?